Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. In today's Know Before You Grow video, we're going to be talking the veg stage, nitrogen, and a whole lot more. Before we get into today's video, folks, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, smash the bell notification button if you want to know when the videos drop. Also, hit the thumbs up if you like the video, leave a comment on the video if you guys have questions, want to say hi, let me know how your grow is doing. I love hearing from you guys in the comment section below. All right, folks, so today we're gonna to be talking nitrogen, the veg stage, what you really need to know going forward. So we're, we're past the first four weeks, I call that the seedling phase. For the next four to six weeks, we're gonna be honing in on the veg stage. And one of the key things you need to be honed in on is nitrogen. Now I've talked a lot on this channel about NPK. I'll probably do a sole video just describing NPK, what all those meanings are. But for today, we're gonna to really hone in on nitrogen. And so if you guys are following along with us, we know we're using the Lotus Nutrient line. And so the Grow Lotus Nutrient line is a 8413. Now we're really focusing on that eight number. The 13 is important because that is uh, potassium and that needs to be set in the soil for later on down the road. Uh, the plant will still obviously need it in the veg, but not nearly as much as it will in the flower. But really what we're focused in on is that eight. That is a decent number. It's not the highest I've ever worked with. It's not the lowest I've ever worked with, um, but it's a good number to work with. And, and that's what you really need uh, to, to get your grow going. Your, your veg stage is setting the foundation for the end game. And the bigger you can get that plant, the better it's gonna be. So this is really key right now to make sure that you're getting your recipe right, your feeding schedule right, and what exactly you need to be giving that plant to get the best result. Before we talk about any other nutrients, here's today's video sponsor, Mars Hydro. Thank today's video sponsor, Mars Hydro. They keep the lights on for us here on the farm and for this indoor grow series. Check out our friends at MarsHydro.com, link in the description of the video. Are you guys looking for a new light or maybe you're just starting out? Check out Mars Hydro. They have everything you need from the FCE 3000 to the Advanced Grower FC 6500 light. If you guys are looking for a tent of any and all size, they have them. They also carry inline fans and heat mats for smell control, for cool areas, and of course, ventilation. Check out our friends at Mars Hydro. Link in the description of the video, marshydro.com. Check them out. And again, a big thank you to our friends at Mars Hydro. All right, so let's talk about some other things other than just nitrogen. And one of the things we'll be using throughout the entire grow, but really gonna focus in on now, is the CalMag. Now, this is a 400, so again, adding nitrogen. This is something you need in the beginning. 400 CalMag, it's gonna give you the calcium you need, the magnesium you need, all the good stuff uh, that those plants require early on, but also later on down the road. I love the fact that it's a 400. It really gives a boost to the grow uh, from Lotus. So we're really working with a 12 number. Now that's a significant amount of nitrogen and I really expect the plants to respond really well. Uh, so CalMag is definitely something you need to have on hand. Now let's talk about a couple of small things that we're gonna be adding to our grow. One of the first things is microbes. A lot of folks love microbes. Uh, this is just one I had laying around from last year that we're going to be using, and this is Mammoth P. It's a fantastic microbe. I've had good luck with it in the past. Um, so check out a microbe. I've worked with a lot of companies. They're all really good. They all have their own special niche. Um, but really and honestly, a microbe is good to have on hand. Now something I started playing around with last year is silica. And the reason why I'm going to bring it back this year is because I noticed that the stem health and the, the beefiness of the plant uh, really responded to that silica. That's kind of its claim to fame is that it gives a lot of uh, stiffness to the branches. It can it can have a better stability during that flower phase and you really need to add it now as you get there. Uh, you don't really want to be adding it during the flower because it's a little too late, you know. So one of the things I'll be using uh, this go around is silica. I'll be using it early on and I'll probably phase it out as we get closer to switching to flower. But folks, this is what I'm gonna be using for the next four to six weeks. If, if you guys have something you would love to add, leave it in the comments section. 
I love hearing from you guys down there. Um, if you guys want to support our farm, our link is down there as well, along with Mars Hydro, our friends that are supporting this indoor grow, guys. They really do keep the lights on for us. I cannot stress that enough. Um, but that is it for today, folks. I hope you all stay happy, healthy, and I will see you in another video. Take care.